Hi everyone, take a moment here. I thought I'd do a video about um, my everyday carry in my purse. So this is basically mama's purse everyday carry. Um, this might not be for you guys, I don't know. Um, you guys can critique me, how's that? Uh, but this is really for the mamas out there who um, wanna see what I carry in my purse as a prepper and um, as a mom of a lot of kids who they think, they think they're supposed to dump their stuff in my purse, but I have actually think I've created a way to keep that from happening. So let me just show you what I got. Okay, this is the purse that I usually carry. It looks like this. Everyone always asks me where I get, got it, so I'll tell you right now I got it on Amazon. It came with a smaller purse that matches it inside. It was about $35, and it comes with different in different colors. So there's a navy, a red, brown, black, a couple different colors of brown. Um, I've had it for a really long time. The top zipper is now broken on it, but I just still really like it. So um, this is what I use. And if you look inside, I actually have one of these purse organizers in here. Now I've tried these before, and the last one I had actually was too floppy, and it just didn't, it didn't hold its shape well enough to sit in the purse and, and work right. So um, I, I'm trying this one and so far I'm, it's very successful now. If you know me, um, seeing this might make you fall over because uh, traditionally my purse is a complete disaster. But recently I've made it my mission to get it organized and make it so that um, it doesn't end up being the dumping ground for receipts and papers that it has in the past. So. This is what I've got going. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and show you. But first I wanna show you, I keep my keys on this and I just clip it to the zipper so they're always handy because I've spent so much time digging for my keys. It's completely ridiculous. So this is a peek of what I've got in here and how it's set up. And then I'm gonna take everything out and show you what it is. This is everything that I keep in my purse. Someone said it was a lot, but honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's a lot. Um, this is the purse insert. It's pretty heavy duty. I have no idea why there's a highlighter in there. I did not put that in there. Um, the beauty of these is you can pull them out of one purse and put them in another and you're not repacking. So that's really awesome. My wallet needs to be replaced. I actually bought a replacement for it, but I haven't switched over. It's super old, but that's my wallet. And this is my stun gun. It is a damsel in defense product, and it will not work without this pin in it. Um, it charges in the wall. You can leave it charging as long as you don't have the pin with it. It's perfectly safe to leave charging around your kids because if they don't have the pin, they can't operate it. Uh, so <clears throat> most people, like if I'm, if I'm out, out by myself and, um, I'm, you know, I want to use this as, this is a flashlight, if I want to have this as a flashlight, I'll have this around my uh, wrist, right? With the pin in it. And then all I'd have to do if I needed to use it as a stun gun is move this up and that's it. So slide one up for the flashlight, which has decided not to work well in here. Possibly I ran it out of batteries. Yeah, I probably ran it out of batteries. Well, there it goes. Okay, so slide one up for the flashlight and the next one up when it's red, it means it's hot and it's ready to go. So that's the stun gun. This stun gun, this particular model, and I don't know a lot about all of their products, but this particular one will get them through their clothes. So if you just get, um, if you just get their jacket, it's supposed to still get them. So, you know, the important thing is to not let anybody get that close to you to begin with, right? But I have that, and I'm going to take the pin out of it right now because you know safety. <sighs> One-handed. Okay, I've got my Gerber multi-tool with me at all times. Um, sometimes I wear it. My my uh, my stun gun can also be worn. Uh, this was a birthday present from my husband last year. It's got all the 
screwdriver heads on it. I don't have to go looking for tools. I love it. And if I can keep my 15 year old from stealing it, that's awesome too. Okay, uh, especially this time of year, I need hand cream. So that's in there. Three pens, I usually keep my checkbook in uh, the slot with the three pens, but my husband's paying bills right now, so he has a checkbook. Uh, Swiss Army knife. Here we are with redundancy, but it doesn't matter. This has always gone with me everywhere for many years. I've had this thing for many years. So Swiss Army knife. Altoids, very important. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. I use this, I spray the grocery cart with this before I use it and my kids get sprayed before we get back in the van anytime we go anywhere. Okay, I have a small first aid kit. It's very basic, it's band-aids mostly and uh, towelettes and there is some triple antibiotic ointment in here. And of course, I also keep a first aid kit in my van, which you already saw, so more redundancy, but that's what's important when you're a prepper is to have places and different things in different places. These are my sunglasses, they're prescription. Kleenex, which I also keep in my van. Console, which I haven't shown you yet, but it uh, seems like, especially this time of year, we need it. And then, I made this pouch a long time ago, and this particular one has like personal care items in it. So I've got ponytail holders for my girls and for me, nail clippers, rescue remedy. I always carry Arnica with me wherever I go. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about homeopathics in another video, but anytime there's any kind of bruising, trauma, bumps, anything, this is what I give myself or my kids. It's just little homeopathic pellets. You can't really see them in there, I don't think. Yeah, you can. And um, it's amazing the, um, or any shock, right? Any shock. It's amazing what this, uh, how well this does in treating any of those things. I've got a lipstick. I uh, usually have more than one. I do have more than one. Oh look, there's trash in there from someone's band-aids or something. Big surprise. Um, so yeah, lipstick. I am, I am a, a lipstick and funky earring wearing prepper gal, and I don't apologize for it. Um, those are the two things I have on every day. Rescue remedy. This is an herbal remedy that can help you handle stress. So if you often have periods where you get overwhelmed or have anxiety, this actually is very helpful. I've actually been doing great and haven't needed to use it for a really long time, but it's something I keep in my purse because I can also give it to my children. And um, it's just, uh, some people with health problems can tend to get um, overwhelmed quickly. And in the past, I have had that problem, but I'm actually doing really well these days. So I actually haven't had to use it, but I, ha I keep it in the house at all times. So that's bo Box a Rescue Remedy. It's been around for many years and you can get it into any herbal or natural food shop. Okay, so that's basically what I carry. That's what I carry in my purse. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. <laughs> if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Um, thanks for joining me tonight. I just wanted to do a real quick thing because I'm just, I'm really excited that my purse is now organized and I feel more prepared to handle anything that comes my way. Um, I do not carry a firearm at this time uh, because I still have small children and have not had the opportunity to practice enough to feel comfortable doing that. And so that's why I carry a stun gun. I did at one point uh, have a uh, expandable baton. Not sure where it went actually. Um, but at one time I did have something like that, but I don't think that that's actually legal in my state to carry concealed. So in my state, there's no minimum age to carry a stun gun or pepper spray as long as you use it lawfully, which means you only use it when you've been threatened. So when my kids turned 15 or 16, they got pepper spray. So yeah, that's it. So that's my purse. And like I said, this is super easy to go ahead and 
lift out and I tend to carry bigger purses anyway. It just, I guess it's a habit of mine because I wasn't into doing diaper bags very often as my kids got older and I didn't carry a diaper bag. I just threw things in my purse. Um, but now I just kind of have larger purses most of the time. And I mean, I, I'll stick a book in my purse and I'll, I'll stick a pad of paper and, and a notebook in my purse. And so it's just nice to have a larger purse for that reason. Um, so when I get this back into my purse, uh, I'll show you again where everything goes and then um, I'll show you uh, the inside of the purse and how much more extra space I have. I actually have space for a water bottle and other things. Okay, so that's how it looks inside. When I get it back inside, and I go ahead and set it inside the purse. Okay, and then there's plenty of room there for a water bottle. And I do also carry a small selfie stick because the two. <laughs> and that's about it. I've got room in here if I wanted to add, if I want to add a notebook right here. I always have plenty of pens now and I don't have to <sighs> dig for them. So before I did this, I cleaned out my purse and I found like 10 pens in my purse. And of course, every time I couldn't find a pen, I added another pen to my purse. <laughs> so then I ended up with a ton of pens. So I cannot tell you how relieved I am to have found this purse insert. I will link it below in the, um, the video description um, because I have tried other ones. And like I said, this one um, holds its shape. It's like, it just holds its shape much better. So thanks for joining me tonight. And if you're new here, please uh, consider hitting the subscribe button uh, and like this video. And uh, let me know if you enjoy everyday carry videos and I will try to make more. Thanks.